So welcome back to another My League Rebuild here in NBA 2K19. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another one of the Trading Every Player Rebuilds, except in today's video, uh, we're going to throw a little twist on it. You guys have been liking me, or asking me rather, to do this without my eyes shut. So you want me to do it with my eyes open, hence allowing me to choose who I trade who for. So it's a pretty interesting idea. I think I'm going to give it one go around. If it doesn't end up coming out the way that you guys think it should, I'll go back to closing my eyes for this, but we're going to go ahead and give this one shot. We're obviously using the Houston Rockets today, if you couldn't tell from the title and the thumbnail. Top three, four, five player in the NBA in James Harden. Uh, it's going to suck not to be able to use him. It's going to 1,000% suck to trade him. But uh, it's going to happen. I already have tried to trade him. Like, I looked. I already put him up on the trade finder. I did get three offers for him, so that should be pretty interesting. But I'm not going to start off by trading him, because sometimes when you trade some more bench pieces, you end up getting some better trade offers. Like, there's no way you know anything here, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, how about something here? No. Uh, I don't know why Melo is still on this team. Uh, he will obviously be traded, but we're just going to start at the bottom. Move Isaiah Hardenstein and Gary Clark. And this is kind of nice. I honestly enjoy getting to choose what I, t what I pick for this. So are there any first round picks? The second round pick from the Suns. Um, well, dang. You know what? Oh, boy. All right, give me Derek Jones Jr. He's young, I guess. Whatever. It really doesn't matter too much for me here. So... Uh, these two are on two-way contracts. I'm not going to touch either of them. We're now we're going to move... Actually, I'm going to move Marquise Chris to a power forward, where hopefully his overall should go up a little bit. He goes up one overall. Ugh, not the end of the world. Um, but we're going to go ahead and move Brandon Knight and Gerald Green. See if we can get any offers for these two guys. Um, we probably should be able to get something decent. It's probably actually going a little bit quicker now, now that my eyes are open. I don't have to, like, pause and for a while. So, ooh, Dennis Schroeder. Let's pick up Dennis Schroeder. That is not a bad trade. He honestly could start a point guard for us. I mean, again, I do get to choose the trades, but still, it's not bad at all. So now I'm thinking, actually, I'm going to move P.J. Tucker to small forward. I think his overall actually goes up a ton as well. And then I think Eric Gordon, yeah, small forward goes up as well. So let's move Tucker and Eric Gordon right now in the same trade and to see what offers we get. Because they both should have around two and a half stars, I would think. Maybe two stars for P.J. Tucker. Oh, they both have two stars. Okay. Uh, Thompson and Larry Nance. Nilo Gallinari's actually been having a pretty good year. John Collins, white side I see. Uh, Covington I like. But I'm going to pick up John Collins, who's still on his rookie deal. Not a bad move at all. He can start a power forward for us. And now I think we have Nene, Mello. Actually, we'll do Austin Rivers and Marquise Chris. So we're going to move Nene and Carmelo Anthony, who for some reason, I don't even know, is still on this team. Terry Rozier and Daniel Tice. That is not a bad move. Grayson Allen. Um, hmm. OG and Noonby. Deontay Murray, I haven't gotten in a minute, and he has another year in his deal after this, right? I think he should. Yeah, let's pick up Deontay Murray, and we also pick up Jakob Pertl. Cool, Deontay Murray can be a backup point guard for us, not too bad at all, and now we have obviously the big three here, and I think we have yeah, Rivers and Chris left, to, Chris left to move, and then we're going to be done with pretty much the bench pieces. Uh, Rozier and Robert Williams, Tony Parker, we're getting pretty similar offers. Uh, let me pick up Buddy Heald. Let's pick up Buddy Heald who's having a pretty good season uh, himself, if I don't say so. So, oh, James Ennis is still on this team. Okay. Excuse me. Got to move. Go ahead and uh, get rid of James Ennis. Uh, anybody I could trade for that could possibly send in the G League? Daniel Tice wouldn't be a bad backup center for us. Billy Hernan Gomez, actually, like. He has another year. Let's pick up Billy Hernan Gomez. So that's not bad. And now, oh, boy, this is going to suck. Let me just make sure there's nobody else down here. Well, I'm still at it. I mean, Vince Edwards, and they're never going to be on the team. It doesn't really matter. So, Capella and Paul, could I possibly trade in the same trade? I can get Levine and Jabari Parker, who is a 77. Love and Thompson, Horford and Hayward, Drogic and Whiteside. Um, none of these trades are really telling me they're that good. So, Capella sucks to move because he's 24 years old, and he's on one of the nicest contracts in the NBA, if I'm being totally honest. It's not a rookie contract, obviously. Only 15 mil a year. Ah, uh, Kevin Love... Mike Conley, we're good at point guard position right now. Hmm. Donovich, it's Pelican's first round pick. Alchunas. Ah, oh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I'm not giving up Deontay Murray for Fultz. You know, let's pick up Kevin Love. Um, him and John Collins. John Collins can just come off the bench, or I could possibly end up trading Collins if I don't get a small forward. Chris Paul has got to go now. Let's see some offers we get for the 86 overall player. Uh, Zach Levine, I haven't gotten in a minute. And he is on a pretty nice contract, so I'm thinking Zach Levine is going to be the one. Well, Michael Porter Jr. is going to be nice. I don't really want to give up Collins, but we also pick up Paul Millsap. 
Oh, Kyle Lowry's here, but I also have Draymond, but I haven't got Zach Levine in a minute, and we don't have to give up anything else. So let's go ahead and pick up Zach Levine for this team, and oh, uh, this is going to suck. Three offers. Okay, these were not the offers originally. Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert was not the offer. DeMar was an offer, and so was Booker. Um, we were getting offered somebody else before. I want to start off to do this manually. Let me just realistically look here. Hmm. Lillard's probably not happening. Could Embiid happen for James Harden? They would 1,000% take this. Like, bruh. I will throw you John Collins, and you can give me literally your worst player. You can give me Jonah Bolden. How would you not take this in real life? It just makes no sense. Uh, Jokic, no thanks. Picking up a Paul. Do we have a small forward right now? I don't think we really do. Yeah, we have absolutely no small forward. So if I could honestly pick up Paul George, I probably would. I know Donovan Mitchell is here. But let me see. Yeah, I, I think picking up like a Paul George wouldn't be bad. So let me go small forwards. Um, I doubt Giannis is possible. I mean, I just don't think this is going to happen, like, ever. It would require a certain amount more. You can give me, not DJ Wilson, uh, Jason Smith. And I'll give you as many first-round picks as it takes. There's no way this is going to go through. It's worth a try, though. And there we go. Yeah, not going to happen. Kawhi? For James Harden? Yeah. This, uh, I want like this to happen, but I just know it's not. So I guess Paul George is going to have to be at Tatum. He's just making so much more money. So Paul George for James Harden, and you can throw me your first-round pick this year and your first-round pick next year. You're not interested? Seriously? You can take a second-round pick. And another second. Bruh, you would not take James Harden for Paul George. I'm sending James Harden literally back. Okay, fine. Take this back. Are you kidding me? Would they not do this straight up? This game is so broken, bro. Okay, but they'll do this. Wait, whoa. I can get Paul George for Levine and Collins. Okay, I'm going to do this. That's going to happen. I'm sorry this is taking so long, but like, I don't even have to give up James Harden yet. And now what position do we need? Because Harden's not playing shooting guard, obviously. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably look for maybe even a different shooting guard. If I can get like, let's just see what I can get. If I can still get that Gobert and Mitchell trade, and I can, I'm probably going to do that tomorrow and get Booker. Let's pick up Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert. We also have to give a Buddy Healed. Not the end of the world. That's a little bit unfortunate, but what are you going to do? So, this is not a bad looking team if we're being totally honest. Like, this is what happens when I do it with my eyes open, of course. Uh, I'm going to change Billy Hernan Gomez, I think, to a power forward. I don't think we have many of those. Uh, we have Patrick Patterson, but he's not going to really cut it. So, uh, let me see. We have Mason Plumley as well, but I'm going to move Billy Hernan Gomez, who is 6'11", Jakob Pertl, 7 feet, to a power... I'm not just change his position. Billy Hernan Gomez. What in the world? I'm hitting start. Okay, powerful. What, what in the world is just going on? He's going to be our power forward. Now let me see if I can edit this. So, Murray's going to be the sixth man. Pertl's going to play around 18. Night. Hernan Gomez is going to get 15. Nawaba, I guess, can get 12. And then you're not going to play Patrick Patterson. We're going to go heavy to the starters. So we're going to go 32 here. Mitchell's going to be playing 35. Same with George. Love can get 33. We're going to go 30. Actually, we'll go 35 to these two. Actually, no. We're going to go 34, 34, and we'll give 34 to Schroeder as well. So we're going pretty heavy with the minutes for the starters, but it is a pretty good starting lineup. Sorry this is taking so long. It's going to be Dennis Schroeder, Donovan Mitchell, Paul George, who's wearing number 40. I'm going to edit that heavy. Kevin Love and Rudy Gobert. Off the bench, we got Deontay Murray, Jakob Pertl, Billy Hernan Gomez, and David Nawaba. So I'm going to edit Paul George's number, and I will see you guys at the end of season number one. So we end season number one with a record of 58 and 24. Obviously, I did use start today, so our record was kind of predetermined. I already had a bunch of wins when I did start this rebuild. I'm interested to see how Westbrook did with his new backcourt of Levine. I think I also traded him Buddy Heald, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, no, I traded him John Collins. Uh, Doncic, Rookie of the Year. Spencer Dinwiddie, six man. Anthony Davis, Clint Capella wins most improved. That one stings a little bit. Uh, it sucks. And Mike Malone wins Coach of the Year, even though we had more wins than him. And he was only third in the conference. But I guess the Nuggets did kind of have a breakout year. So what are you going to do? So I think we were second in the conference. Yes, we were behind the Warriors. Um, I'm interested to see what this team is looking like. Westbrook, Levine, TLC. Ew. Collins and Adams would be a pretty nice front court. I don't really know how the floor spacing would be. Uh, Noel just had a horrible injury, which I just watched. I'm up pretty late making videos because I am going away. I'm going on vacation for a few days, so you guys are hopefully going to get a video every single day. But I will be, I'm going to go visit my friend at college because I don't go back to college till the 20th. 
and he has already back, so I'm going to go visit him. But let's get back to this video. Uh, Paul George let us in scoring, then Donovan Mitchell. So this looks like a pretty solid one-two punch right here. Schroeder was really serviceable as a point guard for us. Not bad at all. K-Love, not bad. Rudy Gobert, I'm sure, was great defensively. Deontay Murray, I'm sure, provided also great defense off the bench. How is Daniel, how, or Danell, how, I don't even know how to pronounce it, scoring eight points a game? I don't know. That makes no sense to me, but should he, are they, like, recommending him to get minutes? I haven't touched the rotation. They're recommending this Bucks guy to get minutes. Oh, House is not on this team because he's in the G League. Okay, I see what they're doing. So, um, anyways, taking on Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum in the first round. Don't think it should be too challenging of a matchup. I mean, this team is looking nothing like it used to. Like, this would have used to have been, like, a sick matchup of backcourts. Um, the Jazz didn't even end up making the playoffs with Harden. Okay, that's interesting. I guess they kind of did trade their two best players away, but you also picked up James Harden. Like, come on, you probably could have made the playoffs. Uh, taking on the Denver Nuggets in the second round, and we're up 3-2 on them, and we end up winning in six. And, oh, my God, oh, the Clippers almost beat the Warriors. That would have been so nice. Did I trade anybody to the Clippers? No, I did not. They literally just had an unbelievable, unbelievable run. So, Warriors, Western Conference Finals. We actually end up picking up a win in game one. End up losing game two. I don't really expect to beat this team. We're up 2-1, though. I'll take it. We're up 3-1. Okay, 3-2. If I have to hop in here, I will. I'm sure. I mean, this is probably going to be another 30-minute video, if we're being totally honest. But what are you going to do? Um, keep it within real. Okay, this is way far out of reach. Okay, I'm not hopping into this one. We're going to be going to a game seven with this team. Winner is going to face Kawhi and the Raptors in the NBA Finals. Come on. Just keep it close. I want to hop in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, eh, okay, I'll hop in. See you guys in the game. So the Warriors are literally the biggest cheese on 2K. And what? why would Paul George not be in the game right now? Oh, good Lord, for the love of God. Okay, hey, I'm just going to take a timeout. Um, I'll just call 20 seconds because I just need subs in the game. <sighs> Unbelievable. Uh, we did make a serious comeback, though. I think we were losing by like 20 in the end of the third quarter. We made a serious comeback. I'm just going to make sure the starters are in. Also, I'm going to throw this on Superstar. Because that is what I now play on, not Hall of Fame. I should really just switch that in my sliders, but I don't ever. So, 226 left to go. Uh, Steph has 42 on the night. Just a quick casual 42 points for Steph Curry on the night. We do have the ball, which is, of course, helpful. I want it to be on Paul George. Of course, Kevin Durant is on me, so that's never helpful. And we're just going to drive with Paul George. Okay, Draymond's just going to bitch me. Paul George up for the slam and one! Let's go. Paul George only got 14 points on the night after that one, but... Draymond just kind of like sagged off right there. Like he didn't even end up doing anything. But Paul George went right up for the slam and never even looked back. I gave him James Harden's number, which is kind of disrespectful. That free throw is not going in. Okay. Oh, I beefed that one up. Okay. Why? Just, just tell me why something like this has to happen. Like it's such cheese and bullshit. And like, oh, it's just so aggravating. It's just so aggravating. Uh, Gobert, can I get a pick? Drive on Kevin Durant. Okay, that's, yeah, that's going to happen. Oh, my God, give me a steal. Oh, what? Are you kidding? Why? Quinn Cook is not hitting a three. Thank you. Push it up. Donovan Mitchell. Donovan, okay, he gets fouled. Okay, I was going to say, if that was just a clean block, I would have been upset. Mitchell's got 17 points on the night. He's going to hit the first free throw, yes, in and out, kind of, but back in. Come on, keep it within reach. And second one is good as well. So it's a three-point game, minute 43 left. It is crucial that I stop them there. This lineup of death that they have. Best point guard, probably top three center. Top three. Oh, my God. Paul, no. What the? F oh, my God. If you're going to jump, get the ball at least, man. Oh, brother. Uh, I want it to be going to Mitchell. Clay Thompson's pretty good on defense, but Donovan Mitchell's just going to drive by, and he's going to get the contact layup to go. That was good. That was quick. That's what exactly what I needed. Over Clay Thompson, too, is one of the best defensive shooting guards in the NBA. Okay. Nope. Paul George, I need you to clutch defense right here. That's great defense in his face. Let's go. Can I get a three right now with somebody? Can I get a three? Like, ideally, Paul George, come on. One time, baby. Go Bear. Go back up with it. Okay. He gets fouled by Clay Thompson. I'm nervous to take free throws with the Go Bear because I don't know how that's going to pan out. First one is up, and oh my God, he has a 57 fucking rating. Ugh. All right, please just hit the second one and make it a two-point game at least. Come on. Bruh. Is he really that bad of a free throw shooter? That's great defense. Are you <laughs> Oh, my God, Steph Curry. Oh, my God. This game and this team will single-handedly be the absolute death of me. 
Donovan Mitchell. Oh, that was kind of a fade, but uh, yeah, this game is over. Oh, bro, Draymond's going to go up, and he's going to get swatted by Kevin Love. Okay, not over till it's over. Paul George, step back. Come on. Oh, my God. Well, that's embarrassing. I'll see you guys in the offseason. So that was unfortunate. I know you guys know I am not the best 2K player in the world. It obviously showed there a little bit. Let's see if the Raptors can beat the Warriors. And 3-2 series with the Warriors end up winning in six. And Boogie Cousins, finals MVP. So this is a pretty good team. I think I would like to improve in the starting point guard position. Um, but other than that, I think I'm pretty much set. Mike D'Antoni is not going to go anywhere. David Johnson, goodbye. Joshua Willis, not bad. Luke Williams, horrible rating. Our trainer's decent. Uh, what are the candidates? We do. There's an A trainer here, so I'm of course going to sign him because I need an A trainer. Uh, your B plus. I do need those three untapped potentials. Head scout, I will go James Graham. We do have a little bit of a budget. Um, assistant coach, I will take a Trent Peterson. And assistant GM, Owen Masters, suits me pretty well. So we get one after day one, and we get the rest after day two. So let's head to the draft right now. It doesn't say. I mean, it's telling me not to draft a bunch of high guys or high overall guys, but I don't think we should have any picks. Yeah, we don't even have a first round pick. So, uh, A, Mason Plumlee's got to go. Have fun in Golden State. They're actually going to give us their first round pick for him, which is interesting enough. So, but now we do have a first round pick, I guess, technically. Um, I would be kind of interested in maybe moving, oops, that's not my team, maybe Kevin Love for a high pick in this year's draft, just because obviously these three players are not going anywhere. Proposed trade, let me see. Kevin Love has three star trade value. Um, Can I get like the third pick from the Bulls? Actually, I feel like I can definitely do that. Who is like the second overall pick? The Hawks, they have a counter offer. They want a first round pick. They want to give me Alex Len. Let's do that. Um, hopefully, RJ Barrett goes number one because Zion Williamson would be a great power forward. But I haven't gotten Zion in like four videos now. So I think that wouldn't be a bad option at this point. Alex Len, I'm going to take a first round pick from Milwaukee. And now let me see. What do I want to do with Schroeder? I, I, would, I do want a better starting point guard. Uh, I cannot trade for Clint Capella. That is a rule of the video. Cannot trade for players I once had. Um, I'm not really getting any better offers. So I guess I'll keep Schroeder for now. So I'm hoping Zion goes number one overall. And yeah, I'll see you guys at Rookie Signings. So we did end up with Zion Williamson with the second overall pick. And then Jonte Porter with the 30th overall pick. I user selected this. He is a 73 overall. Might throw him in the G League. So we're going to bring back all these guys. Uh, probably end up trading most, if not all of them. Or the ones that are like a bad contract. So Murray, I'm good with backup point guard. Same with Pirtle. It's backup center position. Hernan Gomez, I'm fine for now. Patterson's got to go. First round pick from Philly works for me. Same with Frank Mason, just because I can, I mean, he's just a bench player at this point. Like, he's not even a bench player. He's like worse than a bench player. He's not even going to get any minutes. So Frank Mason, if I can get a pick, preferably first round, I'm going to pick in Cristiano Felicio. That's not bad. I'm going to take this pick from the Clippers. First round pick, not too bad. So I do want to improve at the point guard position. Let me look at some potential, potential deals. Because cap space is not going to be a thing this offseason, like in the slightest. So... It has to be somebody not making a ton of money. Actually, I might have enough money if I just do this. Okay, so I do. So, if I throw in, like, a bunch of these picks that I just got, is there any way I can get John Wall? Because him and Donovan Mitchell would be a pretty nasty backcourt. I would also throw in maybe Deontay Murray. Nope, they're not going to do that. Um, Simmons, probably not going to happen. Not for Donovan Mitchell, for Dennis Schroeder. I mean, he's only three and a half star trade value. I'll also give you Murray. I mean, it is Ben Simmons. And take as many first round picks as it takes. It's only can only max him out at four. Uh, this isn't going to go through. Yeah, nope, didn't think so. Chris Paul, not an option anyways. D'Angelo Russell is a free agent. Uh, De'Aaron Fox, low key. Not for Donovan Mitchell. Jesus, for Dennis Schroeder. And I will also give you a first. I'll give you as many firsts as this takes. De'Aaron Fox is kind of having a breakout year. And they agree to that. So De'Aaron Fox is going to be our new point guard. So we have one, two. Actually, let me just get through qualifying offers because then the roster will update who is actually on the team. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight players currently. I'm going to get a backup shooting guard, I think. So do we have any cap space to begin with? I don't think we probably do. Um, we have 16 million. That is not bad. Can I pick up Brogdon? Is there any way you wouldn't match this offer? Uh, goodbye, 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 goodbye. Jesus, holy hell. These are a lot of exceptions. Will they match Malcolm Brogdon? No. 
They don't. Malcolm Brogdon is going to be our new backup shooting guard to Donovan Mitchell. So that is a pretty good bench piece. I believe we have nine players now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This team is all set, and I'll see you guys at the start of season number two. So this is going to be the rotation for year number two. It's going to be De'Aaron Fox, Donovan Mitchell, Paul George, Zion Williamson, and Rudy Gobert. Off the bench, you got Malcolm Brogdon, Deontay Murray, Billy Hernan Gomez, and Jakob Pertl. I'm going to throw Jonte Porter in the G League right now. Just hopefully he can progress a lot. This team is looking really, really solid. Very, very high hopes. And I will see you guys at the end of year number two. We went 75 and 7. This is why I need to focus when I'm simming stuff. Because we just won 75 games. Okay. I don't I literally don't pay attention when we're simming. I'm on my phone checking Twitter. Um Zion won rookie of the year. Hayward, Kawhi, Sexton, Mike D'Antoni's obviously winning coach. The, like, what? I've had teams better than this not win 75 games. What in the world? I mean, this team is really good. Paul George, Donovan Mitchell, unbelievable Zion, Fox, Rudy Gobert. I mean, this is a really good defensive team. Like, Gobert, Brogdon, and Murray are, like, are amazing. And then you throw in Paul George and, like, Donovan Mitchell. It's a really good defensive team. I actually want to check out the stats. Uh, team stats. We, did we score the most points a game? We definitely, yeah. We had the best differential, obviously. We let up the less, least points a game. Wow. I mean, we have a really, really good defensive team. That's all. That's like the definite main point of this. But 75 wins? Seriously? Okay. Well, whatever you want to say, 2K. We lost the game in the first round of the Denver Nuggets, who really shouldn't be an 8 seed. Uh, Spurs in the next round, who should probably be lower seed than the Denver Nuggets at this point. But, well, you know, we lost the game to them, too. So maybe it should be an insane regular season. Now we're just kind of losing it in a little bit in the playoffs. But, I mean, the gentlemen sweep them. Don't even have to face the Warriors. We have to face LeBron and the Lakers, who always seem to add to Marcus Cousins, no matter what. They always add him. Solid, solid night from Lonzo Ball here. And Brandon Ingram and Kyle Kuzma, but Lakers fans, you would never trade them, him, any of them for Anthony Davis, correct? I just want to make sure. Unbelievable. Um, 3-0 and 4-0. Personally, I don't think Anthony Davis is going to get traded um, during the regular season. Uh, but we are taking on the Philadelphia 76ers in the NBA Finals. And Bead Simmons, Butler still got their big three. They added Derek Favors, which is low-key a pretty good pickup for them. Still got the walking injury, Markel Fultz. But we should beat them. We're, we're probably we just won 75 games. Seriously, 2K, we should probably be sweeping every team. And we sweep them in Paul George. Finals MVP. I don't know how we won 75 games. There's no way that's happening again next year. That's just one, one in a million that ends up happening. So... Uh, I do want to bring back Dan Tony because he did just win us a championship. No reason to fire him. I will also sign Jordan Malone, Malone excuse me, as our CFO. And now this staff is all set. So let's head to the draft. Uh, I don't really think we're going to have any picks. We have the 30th pick in the second round. Nobody even wants it. It's going to be like a 48 overall. John Day Porter is up to a 79 overall. That means I can just pretty much let Jakob Pertl walk in free agency. Uh, rookie signings, we get Dewan Hernandez. Sure, you can be a roster spot for us. Team player options, Mitchell and Fox. We'll both be coming back. Qualifying Murray, I will give Pirtle. I'm just honestly going to let go at this point. I, this always happens. I always end up with way too many roster spots. I literally don't need them at all. KD made it to free agency, and he's going to go to the Nets. Because the Warriors decided, you know what? We're too good. We don't need Kevin Durant. Uh, Murray, I do want to definitely bring back. Oh, my God. He wants a lot of money, but it is the last year. I'm just going to round the rights. Yeah, we're good there. So, I believe this team should be all set. I think so anyways. Let me just check this out. We have, let me do some math here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're good, man. Um, maybe I can look to improve Billy Hernan Gomez, but other than that, I really don't know what I would do. You and two first round picks. Better backup power forward. Hmm. Update, not going to happen probably. Um, yeah, Jay Crowder can kind of play a small ball four, but... It's really not an improvement. So, yeah, we are all set, and I will see you guys at the start of season third and final year. So, this is going to be the rotation for the third and final year. De'Aaron Fox, Donovan Mitchell, Paul George, Zion Williamson, and Rudy Gobert. Off the bench, we end up with Deontay Murray, who I just paid, I think, like $30 million to a year, for being totally honest. Might even, yeah, no. Well, $30 million when he's 27, but $24 million to be our sixth man. Uh, thank God this is a fantasy rebuild. Malcolm Brogdon, Jonte Porter, and Billy Hernan Gomez. Really, really solid squad. I don't know if we're going to win 75 games again, but really high hopes. Possible repeat. See you guys at the end of the third and final year. So we end the third and final season with maybe a little bit more of a realistic record. 68 and 14. I mean, I wouldn't say realistic, but more reasonable. I would say not 75 wins. 
Uh, Westbrook MVP, Isaiah Mobley. I have absolutely no idea who you are. But you win rookie of the year. John Morant, six man. Very, very good. Progresses really well in this. Anthony Davis, Chris Dunn, most improved on the Memphis Grizzlies. Okay. Wow. He had a really good year. 18 points, four and a half rebounds, nine assists with two steals. That is that is most improved numbers. I mean, I can see what it, I just clicked on this three times, but I can see what his numbers went up. Yeah, those are most improved numbers. Not going up 0.2 points, 2K. Uh, D'Antoni wins coach of the year again, and we are once again the one seed. Probably the best record in the NBA. Yes, it was. So season stats led in scoring by Donovan Mitchell. Then it was Zion over Paul George. Uh, then it was Paul George, De'Aaron Fox, Rudy Gobert, Deontay Murray, Malcolm Brogdon. Two of the best defensive guards in the NBA off our bench, I just might add. And then we had... Paul George's defense, one of the best all-around defenders in the NBA. Rudy Gobert, the best defensive center in the NBA, I would probably say. Him and Embiid's a toss-up. And then you got Donovan Mitchell, who's not bad on defense, and just unbelievable squad all around. But again, here we go. Taking on the Memphis Grizzlies in the first round. We are up 3-0 on them, and we end up sweeping them. Taking on Oklahoma City, who we did trade Zach Levine to, I believe, in the beginning of this video. But I don't think this should be really too challenging of a series. And... 2-1, 3-1, and we end up winning in five. And the seven-seeded Timberwolves, Warriors were a two-seed loss in the first round. That is awesome for them. Cavs are all the way back up to a two-seed. Looks like they're giving the Raptors a run for their money. We end up, we gentlemen, sweeping the Timberwolves, and we're facing the Cavs. Did they sign somebody big? Because they just beat the Raptors. I traded them Clint Capella. They have Sexton. I mean, not really. No one's in well, dude. I just watched that injury. That is so rough. Prayers up, my guy. Uh, we should be sweeping this team, though. No doubts. Um, I would hop into this game if I didn't have to make five videos right now in a row because I have to get them all up before I leave. So I'm not going to be doing that. But we end up putting a championship. Zion is the finals MVP. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like down below. If you guys need to make sure to subscribe again. I'm sorry I can't really stick around for an outro because it is 1 o'clock in the morning and I have to make three more videos. So hopefully you guys understand. I do want to get a lot of videos out for you guys. I don't really want to miss an upload date. So... If you guys enjoyed, again, like down below. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Leave me any other video ideas down below in the comment section. If you liked me doing this with my eyes open and actually picking the trades, I can continue to do them. If you want me to close my eyes, like maybe I can go vice versa every other one of these videos. So if you guys are new, also make sure to go follow me on Twitter. Link is always in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one.